We're here because, after all, everyone, everyone knows, knows that, that something, something needs to change. change. So what did they do? They created a Hallmark holiday and called it Earth Day. Just one day, though. One day a year, you get to have an Earth Day. One day a year, we get to pay attention to the impact that our lifestyles are having on our environment, our planet, our future, our home, our sustainability, our biosphere, you know, that kind of stuff. Only one day we pay attention. The other 364 days a year, we can just pollute, destroy, wipe out. <laughs> oh, spend time on that other planet, you know, we call home. Oh, there oh is wait, one. <laughs> there's the only one. So maybe, maybe what we need is a uh, script flipping here or something where we have... 364 days a year we actually care and maybe one day we'll just goof off and act like we don't care and maybe one day we won't pick up trash on the beach it's but the other of, days yeah i agree it's kind of like having one day for global love day and the rest of the day what we hate yeah exactly we need a global love day to remind us to love the thing that we were born to do but you know we're all about helping to inspire the conscious evolution of all that culture, lifestyle, humanity, the way that we choose to engage our relationship with our human family. The Mother Earth loved us enough to stick around for 4.5 billion years to allow our silly butts to evolve to be on it. The least we could do is maybe love her that much more back. Otherwise, there's a good chance she will find new inhabitants for this home. So let's look at the bottom line here. We've all been programmed by a society that told us what to paint us in corners where we had to make choices of what we think about everything. And we've literally been made to believe that this planet is not our mother, not our source, we're not connected. There's this thing out there called nature. We're the humans, we're this other thing. We are actually an evolved ape. Hopefully you realize that by now. If not, Jared Diamond, uh, any evolutionary biologist, just take your picture. Elizabeth Sartoris? Yeah, you can, yeah, she's a good one. You can check her she out. She does something about butterfly. Yeah, it's good. But let's, let's seriously take the reins of our lives. Recognize that everything that's in there is what we were told to think. And we can look at what we are doing in a whole new way by making choices that align more closely with what's in our heart. We just have to recognize that the choices we're making aren't us. We're disconnected from our heart. We don't know what our heart would really want to do. And it's not our fault, but we can find a way through by reprogramming and consciously evolving. You touch on something really important you've mentioned uh, a couple of times, this idea of connection or the loss thereof. Mm -hmm. You know, this is really foundational to so many of the challenges our species faces is this false idea that we can somehow be separate from the very things that have given us life. It's as crazy as these beautiful trees we're surrounded by. That leaf on the furthest branch of one is not connected to the seed it came from. That's how crazy it is, this idea that we are somehow separate from nature, that we are apart from it. It's, it's really sort of an optical illusion of ego. And all this beautiful life has emerged from this precious, sacred blue ball that gave us ours. It just popped out of the sun how many billions of years ago, and all this life started popping out of the primordial ooze. And here we are now, at this point in time. We often think that because it's now and because we're so darn smart and everything, that evolution is finished. We've become this and this is what we are. But nope. it's, it's really fascinating to ponder the fact that evolution is a long continuum and we are in it. We're along that journey. We're not at the end of it. We don't know where it goes because we can't forget, predict the future. But I feel very confident in my heart that we do have the capacity to make a huge difference. We are literally the tools by which the universe is experiencing itself evolving. We are the eyes, ears, all the senses of the universe experiencing itself, experiencing itself as it's becoming more and more and more and more. And we are the senses that are allowing the universe itself to experience that. So should we make every day Earth Day or should we just declare we don't really need a Hallmark holiday to tell us to take care of this uh, precious Gaia mother to us all? <laughs> I, I don't even think it's a choice. We have to make every day Earth Day at this point. <laughs> we have to make every day Earth Day. You heard it here. Much love and gratitude from the Soul Tribe. Come join us. Subscribe to the YouTube. Click the social media follow link and come to our website and give us your email address because we're keeping in touch with people directly 
outside of all those realms as well. And we don't want you to miss anything important. We want you to come play with us. Like some really good tunes. You're going to find some good music there too. <laughs> we got so many tools to help you evolve. So stay tuned. Happy Earth Day. Much love.